Welcome back to the Freeway Flippers. This video, I am going to show you how we upload items to Gumroad. I'm going to be uploading an online arbitrage reselling guide for resellers, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I'm logged into my profile, and if you go in the upper right-hand corner, you can switch between your buying account and your selling account. So right now we are in the selling account, and I'm going to go over two products. I'm going to choose new product, and I'm going to start selling it today, but they do give you an option if you want to sell it today, set a release date where people can pre-order it or do a monthly membership. So the name of the product is going to be online arbitrage for beginners. You can put whatever amount you would like. It's going to be a free item. And then if it contains one or more physical goods, next, we're going to customize it. I'm going to put in a description of what it is. All right, I changed my title to be a little bit more descriptive. So I have everything in a document. So I have the title, I have my description, I already have the covers that I made, and then uh, a spreadsheet that I was gonna include as well. So let me put my description in. And you can see as soon as you put it in the description box, it actually will show you a little example. I already have my cover photo. So I have my title, my description, my cover photo. Then you can also add any other pictures. So maybe you wanted to do a picture of, you know, one of the sample pages of what they would get in the guide. I could do that here. You can create a call to action. I want this, buy this, pay. I'm going to put I want this and you can't change it. You just have to select and then there can be a summary that will go underneath. I want this and then you can add details. So anything that would be included. So people would be able to see other things that were included in the guide that I'm going to be offering and then the content. So that's going to be the actual guide. You can upload from Dropbox, from existing or from the computer, or you can choose to redirect to a URL after purchase. So when people get this and they click on, I want this, they will be directed to where they can download the PDF, which is how I have the guide, and then also the spreadsheet. So you'll see these are the two contents that I have. I have the PDF, which is the guide, and then I also have an Excel doc, which is a tracker for online orders. You can also, if you were maybe doing something that you had a limited amount, you could generate a unique license per sale, and then you can stamp PDF PDFs with buyer information. I just haven't done anything like that yet. And then for this one, it's going to be zero. And then I like to have the person pay what they want because some people are really nice and they will actually give you money. Um, and I think that's awesome because this isn't something that was quick for me to do. It took me a long time to create this guide. If you had any different variations of the product, you could add it there. And at the bottom settings, if you wanted to limit how many of these you sold or allowed customers to choose a quantity there's that option as well so let's go back up I have everything I need I did my title I have my description I have the cover photo I have a call for action a summary additional details so people know they'll get a spreadsheet and then the content and then the pricing now for checkout if you wanted to do a discount code let's say that you were going to sell a guide for $49 and you wanted to encourage people to purchase it and maybe for the first 10 you would have 50% off you could do that here so maybe you would do 50 off as the code name and then you could do percentage so that's how you do that and then you can limit how many so maybe for the first 10 and then you would be able to track how many people have used the 50 off discount code and you can add different ones maybe you have affiliates that you want to give specific discount codes to you can do that uh, I'm gonna delete this because it's a free guide so I don't need to put a discount code and then you can also require the full name for if somebody's paying with a card any shipping information and then a receipt so let's publish it and this is what it would look like you can also unpublish it if you need to and then there's the share your product where you can then copy the URL you can tweet it you can share it on Facebook 
You can also put the copy and paste this code into your website. So yeah, that's exactly how I upload any guide to Gumroad. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And until next video, I'll catch you on the flip.